Hey everyone, Steven here from Scenes in Nature. Today I'm going to show you how to recreate deer velvet on antlers using nature's fiber. This is a fast, easy, and inexpensive alternative to sending antlers away. But before I get started, let's go through the products I'll be using today. One of the products I'll be using is the Static King. This allows fibers to stand upright when applied, furthering the realism of antlers. Other materials I'll use in this video include Velvet Base and Fiber Tack. For this video, I'll be using the White Tail Deer Velvet Kit, but there are three other kits available to help recreate mule deer, elk, and caribou velvet. Each kit comes with two pre-blended colors and links that mix together for a natural appearance. And there's enough fiber in each kit to cover an average rack for that particular animal. So let's get started. I've already used a two-part epoxy to build up my points, so I'm ready to start applying my velvet base. This formula acts as both a paint and a primer. It's designed to match the dark velvet skin color underneath the hairs. I'm using a paintbrush to cover the antler, but if you prefer, you can dilute and apply with an airbrush. So now that the velvet base is dried, I'm going to fill the Static King. By using the longer fibers first, the application won't be as thick, leaving room for the short, darker fibers to fill in, making a seamless transition. The next step is I'm going to use fiber tack to put on the antlers as an adhesive. This adhesive is specially formulated and will dry to a clear matte finish. If you want, you can leave sections of the rack free of glue to have exposed areas of skin. Since I've applied fiber tack, I'll attach the alligator clip to the skull base. Then I'll flip the static king over, turning it on as I flip. As I move over the antler, I shake it from side to side for optimal coverage. I like to leave the tips open so I can have dark tips that you often see in nature. And don't worry too much about missing an area because the second layer of dark fibers will fill it in. Once I have covered the antler to my liking, I empty the Static King and fill the hopper with the darker color. While the fiber tack is still wet, I apply the dark fibers following the same steps as before, except I start at the tip of the antler and work down for a realistic blend. Now that I'm finished, I quickly check the antler to make sure I'm good with how it turned out. If not, I apply more fibers while the adhesive is wet, otherwise the antler is finished and ready for mounting after the glue dries. So there's always going to be excess, so save that for reuse. And I'm going to finish this rack off camera so you can see it at the end of the video. But be sure to visit scenesinnature.com to learn more about these and other products plus more how-to videos. Thanks for watching.